Celebrating its 40th season, the Arkansas Repertory Theater is preparing for its big holiday production of Disney's The Little Mermaid. Tonight, Channel 7's Allison Courtney joins us for a rare look behind the scenes of this much anticipated musical. Hi, Scott and Beth. It opens next week, and even at this late hour, rehearsals are going on. The sewing machines are still buzzing in the costume shop, and hair is still being tied to create some of the elaborate wigs you will see in the show. The actors shine in this one, but without the incredibly talented designers, they would never be able to truly take the audience on this voyage under the sea. Five, six, seven, here we go. It's one of the iconic songs in The Little Mermaid. Choreographers are feverishly working to get the actors ready to take the stage. Meanwhile, just a floor above, the costume designer loves hearing the singing drown out the sounds of sewing machines. This is Vegas, it's Calypso, it's fabulousness, it's over the top. Meet Rafael Castanera, the rep's production manager and costume designer for the show. I talk with my hands a lot and I said it needs this or it needs to go wow and that means something. To say he is passionate about his work is an understatement. I only accept fabulous, fantastic, amazing. That is succeeding. Born in Puerto Rico, Castanera put on his first production at the age of 17. So I wrote it, I directed it, and I designed the costumes. My mother made it, and my father was an accountant, and he went to his clients and um, sold them ads for our playbill, and that's how we rented the theater. Castanera would go on to work in New York City before Bob Hupp, the rep's producing artistic director, hired him 15 seasons ago. Raphael really is multi-talented, but his, his skill as a costume designer really comes to the fore. Can you make it really tight? Oh, yeah. Castanera has designed costumes for dozens um, of shows, but says The Little Mermaid is the most elaborate. The detail, hopefully, that you will see on stage has taken thousands of men hours. The shoes are hand painted to match the tie dye and the pattern that is on the tights that the dancers wear. Everything is that way. It starts with his sketches on paper and lengthy actor fittings. Race it, race it. Then cutters, drapers and tailors, the folks Castanera calls the real heroes of a production takeover to create his original designs. That's what's gonna make it magic. And maybe the most magical, Ursula's octopus costume. It takes at least two people to get me into the thing. Amy Jo Jackson plays the villain. And it's just like the height and the, the width of the costume and the way that it moves, like the hips just, I give the littlest swivel and it's like ga-gung, ga-gung, ga-gung. And topping it off is this custom-fitted, hand-tied, massive wig created by a North Little Rock native considered one of the best in the country. And he's only 19 years old. He's how old? And I went, what? This is my website. And he showed, and he sent me links of his website. And it was, there was some stuff in there that I was going, wow. Castanera hired Rob Pickens just before his senior year of high school. And so when he came to me with the sketch of the Mer sisters with these fun styles and these crazy colors, the first thing I said was yes, of course, yes, yes, yes and with Ursula too. It can take Pickens up to 50 hours to create one full human hair wig. It's a very um, monotonous and tedious process, but I enjoy it. And he's been doing it since he first became intrigued with Broadway theater as a kid. I found some books online. My mother, luckily enough, wasn't freaked out and bought me some wig lace, um, a little needle that we call a ventilating hook. It's similar to latch hooking in a way and some bobbinet tool and I started tying hair at eight years old. Pickens now creates wigs for productions all over the country, some going for thousands of dollars. But here at the rep, budgets aren't big. So Rob uses synthetic hair for some of the wigs and purchases others that have pre-made backs. In fact, everyone is used to stretching their resources. It's all illusion. Because if I tell you that a lot of the things that you're seeing behind is made out of 
the the bone structure of them is made out of old posters that were in the lobby, you go, wow. And it's that and fabric and decoration, and it's just imagination. Castanera is also hand-making all of the under-the-sea props. My hope for this show is that $10 look like a million. Hub says Castanera has become a pro at that. I would put our work here in all aspects of design and creation up against any theater of our size or bigger anywhere in the country. And actors who worked at theaters all over the country agree. I've maybe worked at one other theater that has even been comparable. And that was Oregon Shakespeare, which is like one of the biggest regional theaters in the country. So if you get to make it to the Rev for this adventure under the sea, enjoy every second, every sequin, and every hairstyle, knowing some of the biggest stars are never on stage. We will be working until the 11th hour so that every detail is right. And then I'll go sleep and say, I wish I would have done it. So how much does it cost to create hundreds of costume pieces, over 50 wigs, create a set, lighting, music, hire the actors and staff for a five-week run? Well, Bob Hupp tells us an average budget for a show like The Little Mermaid is $350,000. They hope to gross $500,000 in ticket sales, and it looks like they are well on the way to that goal as tickets are selling in record numbers. To find out how to get tickets and what happens to all those costumes after the show, go to our website, KATV. Dot com. Allison Courtney, Channel 7 News. Yeah, you can't go wrong with going with Disney. I've been to the rep many times and never yeah. even thought about the detail that goes into that. And you said, I'm going to see Oh, there's see no this. question. I'm yeah. going now. You yeah. know what? Also, we see the actors on stage, but there's so much personality backstage, yeah. too. <laughs> yes, it's there really was. fun to see that. Yes.